This is the Alifon Show, February 21st, 2012. What's up, guys? This is Alifon. Today is Tuesday, February 21st, 2012. It's the season premiere. It's the season four premiere of the Alifon Show. Uh, we got Rami. We got pol 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 politics, uh, the Grammys, and some of the last week's news because I um, decided to take a little break off. But anyways, let's let's start with the news. Um, in political news, Mitt Romney says Obama has fought against religion. Um, in the so in this in an article by the Associated Press, Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney said Tuesday that pre President Barack Obama's administration has fought fought against religion and sought to substitute a secular agenda for one ground in faith. Uh, there could also, there could also be evidence that every center is sick of that the same same way too, and um. In a, in a show um, named Morning Joe, there, there could be a possible way that um, Obama might be disguising himself as a Christian. And uh, but let's not care about religion. But and some, but let's not really care about religion. But all, but 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 let's not let's not only say about the um, the religion. The, um, Obama might not be a Christian. Uh, there, there, there could be there. It's a pretty. It's basically just a rumor, right? But there's another rumor that saying that President Obama could be a Muslim. Kind of awkward, isn't it? In some, in some awkward, um, in some awkward sex news. A former LA teacher pleads not guilty to lewd acts as a former teacher who arrested banked in a scandal at an elementary school in Los Angeles that led to a replacement of all his teachers. Which, who has been pleading not guilty to committing lewd acts with 23 children in his classroom, such as, I don't know, like showing pornography and stuff, but I don't I don't actually remember. Pretty awkward, isn't it? Uh, lat, uh, about two weeks ago, Whitney Houston died at the age of only 48 years old. Um, there's been reports that Thursday she's, uh, she's been partying, there's, there's evidence that there's blood on her legs. And the last and the last time she was saying was a song about Jesus. I I don't know what the title of the song is, but all all I know is that the song has a has the word Jesus in its name. Um, Whitney Houston's funeral took place on the Saturday after she died, but um, there could be evidence that she um, she could be under the influence of drug and alcohol for years, which could cause her to die. If she if she never took too much drugs and alcohol, she eventually would have continued her music career and would have died eventually later. She's she's been laid she's been laid to rest on February nineteenth, twenty twelve, uh, in New York, New Jersey. Pretty sad to see when Houston go. Uh, the same as didn't happen to Michael Jack Jackson two about um two to three years ago. But but um, who's to blame? Doctor Conrad Murray. You know that guy. You know that guy who drugged him and caused him to die. Act like a weirdo. In common news today. Greek um uh, Tal has passed thirty thousand today, but dropped a little because of the Greek bailout. Um, according to an article by Forbes, the Dow Jones Industrial Average charged up to a nice round number of thirteen thousand uh, this morning, but stocks faltered, and, and by day's end, the thirty component index was lower than where it began that day. A second round of bailout funding for Greece, some one hundred thirty billion euros from the European Commission, I am. IMF and ECB did little to expire gains as the deal was already discounted by markets and hurdle remained to its competition. Negotiators for private sector bondholders agreed to a 53.5 haircut on Greek debt, but approval from, from a clear majority is still needed, while parliament votes are necessary for in, in certain countries, including Germany and Austria. Even for it would take years for Greece's economy to reorganize and become more competitive, a process that will take under the burden of massive austerity programs, similar to similar, pro similar to the United States, where where um they got into recession in two thousand eight, but <clears throat> they um they went through a resurrection like some kind of process in two thousand for like three years starting two thousand nine, but it's, and it's still continuing today. Um, the stocks are stocks. Uh, almost reached thirteen thousand, but it will, but it will be eventually. Hopefully, it should reach thirteen thousand by tomorrow. If not, then could be a could be a downward fall for for the global economy. Last week's news: there were there were the Grammys. There was Adele. There was Chris Brown. There was Ryan Seacrest. There were Elton John. There was Paul McCartney. There was all kinds of people. But the but the no but the most notable thing is Paul McCartney performing the concert. Um. 
Adele winning four Grammys. Chris Brown saying at the saying the F word in a tweet after the Grammys for after he won an award for his best album. Look at me now. Look at me now. <laughs> I'm rolling paper, but anyways, um, Chris Brown did this, and it got in caused controversy in in the in the news industry, I suppose. Uh, I don't know how you call that. And there was um there was a performance um there was a tribute to some kind of guy with um who's still alive with like some kind of disease. I don't know. I don't remember, and I don't want to look up right now because it was such a waste of time. And there was also a tribute to uh a tribute to Whitney Houston. Done by the host uh, under the name of LL Cool J and Jenna Parson, who's saying, I will always love you. <laughs> now let's talk about oil and gas. The gas prices are now averaging like around $3. The cheapest gas is in Wyoming. The ex most expensive gas is in Hawaii, which averages about well, four and a quarter dollars per gallon. The second the second highest is four is about four dollars. Um some of the some of the gas some of the gas um uh, per gas some of the price per gallon could be at could be topping at five dollars. Can you believe that? can you believe that? Not only that, but oil prices rise about $106 a barrel on concerns that Iran will cut more will cut off more oil to Europe. Um according to the Washington Post with Bloomberg business or just basically Washington Post, um, as, it, as it says in the URL, oil prices have climbed to the highest level since May on concerns that Iran will cut off more oil to Europe. The surge, which includes a 2.6% jump on Tuesday, could make gasoline and other fuels more expensive if the prices stay high. At a national average of $3.57 per gallon, U.S. pump prices are already the highest ever for this time of the year. Like I mentioned it earlier in this uh, earlier, and analysts say they might be reaching a, a record four dollars and twenty-five cents per gallon this spring. Can you believe this? This is getting our this I'm, this is getting outrageous. In some tech news, Microsoft obviously it will be coming available on iPad pretty soon. A bit awkward, but um. But uh, according to PC World, Microsoft now denies it will release Microsoft Office for the Apple iPad, despite a recent screenshot and report from the Daily. A Microsoft spokesperson took, told the New York Times that the Daily story is based on inaccurate rumors and speculations. We have no further comment. She added that the image was was with the Daily's article depicting the Office product for the iPad was for the iPad was not Microsoft software. She said. So is, is it basically just a rumor? That the Microsoft might be releasing might be releasing the Office for the iPad. I don't know. We're gonna have to find out pretty soon, but not pretty soon, but some point. And finally, some quick news. Apple, Apple, um, Foxconn, a company in China, makes Apple products. Jeremy Lin, uh, there's a list. There's, there's something about Lin Sanity about Jeremy Lin's good performance in the next. And finally, uh. I don't know what to say. I don't know. I don't know what it. Uh, I think I pretty much forgot because my brain can be uh, kind of short-term memory loss. Oh, forgot. It's Marty. It's today's Fat Tuesday, and it's Mar. And I'm what I'm whatever that means. It's Mardi Gras. Oh my God! Go away. But uh, that'll do it for today's show. I'm Al Fun. I'll see you next Tuesday. Oh please don't go! We have just have some recent stories that are just just came in right now. Mitt Romney, uh, former governor uh, Ma governor of Massachusetts, Mitt Romney is losing to Rick Santorum in Arizona. Kind of awkward. And finally, that's uh, that's finally all we have for today. I'm Alan Fun. See you next Tuesday.